This is John for Global Traveler. Today I'm talking travel with travel host and founder of Chubby Diaries, Jeff Jenkins. How are you, sir? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm glad to be on today, John. Well, I'm glad to have you. We're going to talk about Chubby Diaries, absolutely, because that's the main part of your platform. Give us a little bit of your background first, though, please. Well, yeah, uh, born and raised in Orlando, Florida, Mickey Mouse country. Um, I was a high school choir teacher for nine years, and then I decided that I wanted to do more in life. And uh, I quit my job, started a nonprofit building water wells in Rwanda. And it was while I was there, I decided that I uh, was going to travel the world, help people and get paid to do it. And that's what ended me uh, down this new journey that I'm on of being a content creator and TV host. Now, when you, when you made that decision, is it obviously you wanted to help people? Obviously, you wanted to make money. Um, was travel a huge part of your, your life at that point? Or is it something you just wanted to jump into at that point? You know, it was, uh, I, I got on my first airplane ride when I was 20 years old and I got to go to Japan. That was the first time I ever went international anywhere. And it was there that I got bit by the travel bug while I was in college. And I just fell in love with like traveling. So I was an avid traveler. I felt like I was traveling more than the the average person was. And as a teacher, you had your, your holidays and your summers off. So I would be traveling during those times as well. So so tell us, how did Chubby Diaries get started? Well, yeah. So um, um, after me figuring out, like, I wanted to travel the world, help people and get paid to do it, um, I wanted to get into, like, blogging and content creation. And I kept hearing everybody being like, you should have a niche, have a niche. And I, I didn't know how to do or, like, what it what was a niche. And so I asked my cousin, who was a PR rep, uh, she gave me this, like, branding worksheet to fill out. Uh, I filled it out. I promise you, I got nothing from it. I thought I got nothing from it. And when I went to review with her, she was like, there it is. Like, just make it simple. Like, it's easy to just talk about yourself. And one thing about yourself you can talk about is being plus size and being black. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I never thought about this. <laughs> and then that's when all the ideas started, like, like inundating in my brain to where it was like, oh, oh. And so it was like, I didn't know any person on the internet at the time that talked about uh, the plight of plus size travels. And um, and it, I'm, I'm telling you, it just it hit me like a ton of bricks of like this idea of like, oh, this is a good idea. I, I can I can run with this. And, and one thing that made it even easier was the fact that I'm just talking about myself. I'm just literally sharing my experience and how I experience the world through travel uh, being my size. Well, that's why I wanted to interview because I, as you, as you started your company, because you didn't see any others like that, I didn't see anybody else like, like what you're doing. And I thought you'd be fascinating. No, this is a kind of a goofy question. Did you face any backlash from people? Because social media could be hard. Did you face any backlash in starting this for overweight people? Surprisingly, I didn't. Um, I mean, I, I did get a couple of things like my uncle, um, he, he did come to me, but it was all in my branding and my messaging. And and the one thing that even my uncle was talking about was that uh, he was like, well, why don't you just teach people how to lose weight? And then you wouldn't have to have this thing. And I told him that I was like, yo, there's so many other platforms out there that are teaching people how to lose weight, feel great and all that. And I was like, I want to talk to the person where they're at now. And I tell this to everybody all the time. One of my messaging is, is that I don't promote obesity. My whole mission is to help people live life now. I want them to be able to travel the world no matter their size. And so um when when I share that message, uh you you would you'll be shocked how many like uh fitness people follow me and things like that because they're also encouraged by just the mission and the statements and things that I'm trying to do. And I'm I'm very active. I, I'm actually I think I do more than the majority of people in the world. So I'm I'm definitely active. Well I follow you on, on social media and yeah there is no doubt you're active. So Chubby Diaries is obviously for you know um overweight people of, of whatever sort. Is there room in the company or the organization I should say for people who don't consider themselves overweight or what would happen if, you know, doctor's orders, whatever tells you that you need to slim down, what happens to the organization then? Nothing. It just continues to go. Um, for the most part, like Chubby Diaries, I even have 
like uh, half of my followers aren't even plus size. So the one thing that it is, is it's a community to where uh, people who who might not even be plus size can even understand uh, what plus size people go through. And so like I have stories where um, people um, follow me and then they get a better understanding or how they can assist or make it more accessible for them to go on a trip with their with their loved ones or their best friends. Uh, I had uh, somebody literally tell me she was like, yeah, I've been trying to get my best friend uh, to go on a trip with me. And it was not until I followed your account and followed you and I recommended her thing to you that we finally understood why she didn't go on these trips. And so being able to make it more accessible, make it more, uh, giving her them the tips and the tricks that they need to, to be able to do this, um, I, I feel like it can continue to go forever. So obviously we know like on airplanes, there's a big battle. Should people get two seats? Should they get a bigger seatbelt? Putting that aside, what are some of the other obstacles or challenges that overweight people face in travel? Yeah, um, weight limits, uh, size restrictions. So just even getting on, like going to excursions, like different excursions, like um, like bungee jumping or uh, I'm giving the extreme, but <laughs> Uh, like zip lining, uh, a lot of times there's a lot of like weight limits to these things. And I'm over here showing people that, you know, even with my show, like, hey, if there's just these small modifications made, it can even be more accessible for plus size people to do these things. Uh, and even when I was given the example of the, the zip lining, uh, I watched a, a a show back in the day where they used to take the gross that grew on trees, like the burp or whatever it's called, um, and they make furniture out of it. Uh, I remember that they had to take this uh, one ton like growth from one top the top of the hill down to the truck, and they used a zip line. And I was like, wait, so if they can do that with a zip line for something that weighs a ton, there's no reason for them not to be able to do it with a human. And so um, that's when I'm just like, hey. I think whenever y'all are creating things to to be keep plus size people in mind. And I know a lot of uh, organizations um, and uh, brands that are doing that now. So then do you go, do you search out places that like a zip line, you know, there are weight limits, but then do you go and search out places that might have a higher weight limit for zip lines or any of the other activities? Well, I don't have to search them out like that anymore. People come to me, which is great. Um, but yeah, there's still times where like I am going to find out. So so one thing I also do, like even for for my audience is I show what you can and can't do in a destination. Like instead of like like knowing ahead of time, it'll make it a little bit easier, make it more palatable to being like, oh, I can't go do this, but you can do all of these other things. And so that's the one thing I do try to show people as well. So what is your best best tip for overweight people in travel? You know, I mean, it sounds very mundane or it sounds boring, but plan. Just get online and, and look ahead. Do your research ahead of time because you'll find out very quickly, like, what you can and can't do. Um, like, like, you, like, for me, I wanted to go to do great white shark diving in South Africa. And uh, so I looked online and saw that there was a mandatory wetsuit uh, requirement. Uh, I knew that they possibly might not have had my size um, mm. in South Africa. I tried to call, didn't get in contact with them. So you know what I did? I got on Amazon. I bought uh, a extra or a plus size wetsuit, extended size wetsuit for myself, and I brought it with me. And if I did not bring it with me, I would not have been able to go on that uh, excursion. So me being able to have presence of mind to think and look ahead and then be like, you know what, let me just go ahead and bring mine. I was able to still do this once in a lifetime opportunity that I wanted to do. And do you have any favorite places of all the places you've been? Do you have any favorite places you've been? And do you have any bucket list place where you want to go? Oh man, Japan's my favorite country in the world. I just love it. Uh, from the culture to the tradition, down to the food, the way that they just present the food, the way that they bring the food out to you. You just like, well, this is fancy. <laughs> I like this. Um, but yeah, uh, my bucket list place uh, is still Antarctica. I still got to get to Antarctica. I just want to be able to cross off all seven continents. Uh, but then like 
to be able to go somewhere where majority of people, not even just living today, but in, in all of existence, haven't been to like to be able to go down there would be really, really cool. Well, before I let you go, Jeff, and I appreciate learning all about Chubby Diaries, tell everybody where they can find out more information and about Chubby Diaries and you. Yeah, so you can follow me on all my social media at Chubby Diaries, and you can watch my new TV show, Never Say Never with Jeff Jenkins, uh, on National Geographic and Disney+. Plus. Jeff, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. I, I wish you success in travels. It's a cool thing that you're doing for the, the plus-size travelers. You know, it's more inclusive. Let, let, let everyone should have the same ability to travel and to see the world, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, John, for having me on.